Hi, this is Dr. Barb with Colorado State University Extension. I'm on the Western Region, uh, the STEM specialist over here. And I wanted to take a moment to thank my colleagues. They don't appear on the shows with me, but Miss Stephanie is here and she does some and she's always here. She edits everything I do. And Mr. Drew, who is the film chief editor and he's the one who records and films everything so big thank you to them for all of them not just this one but every single one we're producing anyway so let's get back to doubling this is part two of doubling in the last one you made your checkerboard let me hold it this way oh there we go my virtual background keeps on eating up space so you made your checkerboard out of two colors i used what yellow and white and if you haven't done this one yet go to part one make your checkerboard it's just made out of paper and you need pencil and scissors to make it easy peasy and this one we're actually going to do the doubling activity all right this one you need a bag of rice and you need your checkerboard and a pencil and that's all so let me put it down and oh before we do that remember we set it up that you're going to pick to, to pick a really big chore around the house I mean it's like you're going to dust and mop sweep and mop every single hard floor in your house and vacuum all of the rugs for the entire month and you're going to keep everything really clean and our checkerboard is 30 squares so 30 squares in June in June I was in back in January for some reason in my head in June. So this we had the checkerboard we made was for 30 squares. And with this one, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do this really big job. But what I'd like to do is have you pay me an allowance because this is a really big job. So I want you to start with a single penny and on June 1st, pay me one cent. And then on June 2nd, double it. One plus one is two. So you'll pay me two cents on June 2nd, and I'll have a total of three cents. And then on June 3rd, you'll double that. Two plus two is four. And on June 3rd, I will have made four cents plus six cents plus seven cents. Now this doesn't sound like, but every day you're going to double my allowance for doing all these this really big chore. And at the end of the month, we'll call it good. Okay? And you get your parents to say yes without doing any other calculation. Okay, so here we go. Here's my checkerboard and rice. So we're going to start out, and I'm going to try to do this backwards so that you can see it. And I'm kind of clumsy doing things backwards. So I'm going to start down here and it should be your top, um, yeah, your top left. And I'm going to put down one because that's the first day. And on one, you put down a single grain of rice. This rice it's really small rice. It's uh, the kind of rice they use for um, sushi. So there it is, one grain of rice. Okay, then on day two, you double it. So I don't. I need to turn it around because I don't think I can write backwards. Oh, I'm not backwards, upside down. And you put down two, and then you put down two grains of rice. Two grains. And then you double that on June 3rd will be four, because two plus two is four. And then put down four grains of rice. Is four. Okay, so you double four. Four plus four is eight. and put down, that's right, eight grains of rice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. So how much are you going to get paid? Oh, each grain of rice represents one penny. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. So you're not getting paid rice, you're getting paid pennies. So one penny, two pennies, four pennies, eight pennies. And then eight plus eight, you double it and you have how many? Sixteen. So now put down sixteen grains of rice. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then you double sixteen, and how many do you get? Right. 32 and put down 32 grains of rice. Okay, what I want you to do is to pause it here and I want you to continue doing that. So here's the first six days, then you go to day seven. So 32 plus 32 is, and then that number plus that number. So doubling is adding the number to itself. One plus one is two, two plus two is four, four plus four is eight. 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32, 32 plus 32 is, and then continue doubling it on the next six days, and then continue doubling it on the next six days, and put down one grain of rice that represents one penny on each for each. So they put 32 on here, we put one grain of rice on there. So how many grains of rice are you going to get on the last day, June 30th? So pause here, work it out, and I'll be here waiting for you when you're done. All right. Did you finish? What was the first thing you noticed? What square was it that you could no longer put down the grains of rice because there were too many? How much money did you make on June 30th? Did you keep track of it? I have it here. So on June 30th, you made $5,368,709.12. For the entire month, I wrote that down here, you made $10 million. Seven hundred and thirty seven thousand four hundred and eighteen dollars plus twenty three cents. That's doubling. Now, doubling is this really, I mean, it's it's misleading because at first you only ended up with thirty two cents at the end of the week. I'm sorry, at the end of six days. But at the end of 30 days, you made $5 million. And that's not uh, cumulative. That's just $5 million on one day. So let's think about that. If we have an invasive lily species on a pond, and it starts with one lily, no big deal, right? There's no urgency. But if the lily doubles every day, then the next day you have two, two lilies plus one lily. The next day you have four lilies plus two lilies plus one lily. The next day, so we'll start out here and it's, we have one, oops, I'm starting backwards, sorry. One, three, seven, 15, 31, uh, 63. So it went from one to 63 lilies at the end of the day. And if the lily is half, co half covers the entire pond on day 15, what day was it half covered? Day 14. Day 14 half covered, day 15 the entire pond is covered. So doubling is kind of sneaks up. And, and so we've been talking about the COVID-19 
rates doubling. What is our doubling rate? So when you're thinking about epidemiology, you think about what is the doubling rate and how often does that occur? Currently, I checked um, the uh, CDC's website earlier. I checked John Hopkins' website and I checked the New York Times. Those are three great sources to check. And they're showing that now the United States every six weeks is doubling, but it's still doubling. So if we have 2 million people with the COVID-19, or we're, we're at about 1.5 million, that means in six weeks we'll have 3 million people with it. And six more weeks we'll have 6 million people with it. So that's, that's one of the things that's real dangerous about COVID-19 is its doubling rate. Not all diseases do. Now we're looking at not only COVID-19, that's been, you know, it's on everybody's mind, so what is it? But we can also look at doubling rates of other diseases. Uh, Ebola was the last big outbreak, and it was confined to Africa because the world went to Africa to try to stop the Ebola outbreak there, to stop it from becoming a pandemic while it was still concentrated in Africa. And we were able to help that African country, and I forget which one it was. It was one of them, though. Um, stop it where it was. And the difference is Ebola is very is a very high fatality rate, but it has a slow reproduction rate. So it wasn't doubling every six weeks, so it was doubling a lot slower. And there's a disease that's caused, caused by um, a bacterium. And this bacterium cause, is what causes us to get leprosy. Now, there are only two species in the entire world known to have leprosy, human beings and armadillos. I think that's odd. Anyway, people who study leprosy have armadillos that they, they use. So they don't use people. They use armadillos to study it. But it's one of the slowest uh, contagious diseases known. And you can have multiple contacts with somebody that has leprosy. It's, it's called Hansen's disease, um, and never get it. And there are doctors who worked with in, in the old leper colonies. They might not get it for decades. Um, missionaries used to go and work in leper colonies, and they wouldn't get it for de decades. So it's kind of interesting, this whole concept of doubling, but not only doubling, the time it takes to double. Now here we were doubling every day. So in 30 days, you got five plus million dollars on that one day for a total of $10 million for the entire 30 days of June. But if you spread it out so that it takes two months, five months, a year, that doubling rate slows down and it gives hospitals and scientists time to, to find uh, ways of finding treatments. A treatment is something that helps reduce the symptoms of the disease or find a vaccine, which is something that inoculates us so our immune system can then attack the disease when it becomes present in our body. So just a couple of things to think about. Something, a couple of things to ponder on a nice uh, spring day, almost summer. And I'll see you next week, uh, next time for epidemiology and how diseases spread among humans. It doesn't have to be uh, the COVID-19 disease. It could be the common cold or it could be the flu. How do we spread them? So have a great uh, rest of your day and I'll see you next time.